We've made meads for January and March. Uh, the first part of January we showed about making meads, uh, fermentation devices and stuff, so we'll go over some different things about it. And then we went into February with oranges, so let's just look what we got. So these ones were made in December of 2016, and we were showing bentonite clearing them up. And as you can see, so these ones were done just at the end of December of 2016, and we added bentonite to them. And they just they were just showing clearing them up. This bottle here was actually made, I think it was uh, January, I think it was 7th. So this bottle here was made on the 7th, and the one in the back was made December 30th. And that's just to show the bentonite can clear them up quick. Right, and then here was one that was actually made the same time as this back bottle. This bottle here and this one here were made at the same time. And see, it's clearing up naturally. This one here was made the 7th of January, same as this one. And you can see clearing up really good. And this was just starting to clear. So the bentonite helped clear the one bottle right off. So they're naturally clearing up by themselves. These four here are the four different yeasts that we used all at the same time. So they were all done with different yeasts to show flavor as well as fermentation. And then these ones were done, one with nutrients and one without nutrients. This one had the fermented K in it and this one didn't. So that's uh, January's mix. One gallon, two gallon, three gallon, four, five, six, and then seven and eight. And then we showed one right here that showed the blended yeasts. And then the one with open fermentation that we're doing. The cheesecloth bag is just to keep the bugs and stuff out of it, but you can see it's this one was done with pollen with open fermentation. So that was all January's mixes there that we all had done. Then we went right into February where right there is the orange mineral water that we started out. There's orange blossom honey. There's our summertime shanty with oranges and lemons. There's our Joe's ancient orange mead. There's our bloody valentine. Look at the color. Right there, those both are basically going to be almost the same taste, but the Bloody Valentine. And then we did the Baby Julius. He was a banana, baby food banana puree and an orange. So that's uh, January and February. Basic brewing, orange month. Hey, we're going to get into March now. You're going to see some more jugs sitting on this table. Let's get into doing some apples.